Example 5, the cost of producing X electronic gains is given by the C of X equals 1080 plus 42X plus 0.3X squared unit in dollars. Find the value X that minimizes the average cost function if X is between 0 and 90. Our goal is to find the X value, another key term minimize within the closed interval. Identify this as point A zero, point B 90, minimize overall, you're gonna find X that give you the absolute minimum value of the average cost function, which is in the notation form as a C bar. We have the cross function as a CX or 1080 plus 42X plus 0.3X squared. The average cost function, which is C bar or the CX divided by X, we can write it as 10,080 plus 42X plus 0.3x squared, all divided by x. You can simplify it term by term or leave it as a quotient form, it doesn't matter. To find the absolute max absolute min, we're gonna find the critical value as the first step, compute the function values at the two endpoints and at the critical value. And the last step, we compare the numbers, pick the largest as the absolute max, the lowest as the absolute min. But in this case, we're gonna find what X that give the minimum value. So starting with the first step to find the critical value, number one, critical value by using the derivative. So C bar prime equals zero or C bar prime is undefined, so two different cases. For our case, the C bar is in the fraction form as I keep it as a fraction form, I'm gonna use the quotient rule. Identify the numerator as a high function, denominator as a low function. To find the derivative, so I use the, uh, the formula of the quotient rule, which is the low d high minus high d low, draw the line, low squared, and on my prep work, the high function is 10,080 plus 42x plus 0.3x squared. My d high or the derivative gonna be 42 plus 0.6x, the low function, which is the denominator. So then my d low is this one. I get all the prep work. Then I'm gonna bring every term back into the quotient qu rule formula. The low, which is the X multiplied by D high or the quantity 42 plus 0 0.6 times X minus the high function, which is 10,080 plus 42 X plus 0 0.3 X squared and multiplied by D high, which is one. And all divided by the denominator, which is the low squared or the X quantity squared. Then, I simplify the terms by multiplying X to the two terms for the first group here. We have 42X plus 0.6X squared minus 10,080 minus 42X minus 0.3X squared all divided by X squared. And then I simplify by looking at the light terms and canceling or simplifying the coefficient. 42x minus 42x will be gone. 0 0.6 and minus 0 0.3. They simplify as a new coefficient for x squared as 0 0.3x squared and then minus 10,080 divided by x squared. Now I have the derivative of the average cost function. I leave it as a fraction. So to determine the critical value, the first case, the case that the derivative is zero, which is from the numerator equals zero. And then the second case, the case that the derivative is undefined, is gonna be the case that denominator is zero. So not here, so this is the numerator and this is the denominator. 
then to consider the case one or the C bar prime equal zero, I consider the three zero point three x squared minus ten thousand eighty equal zero, and then I solve for x. For our case here, we have um, I can pull out the factor zero point three, so I have x squared minus ten uh, eighty divided by three, so we get um, three six zero zero equal zero. And then factor completely to get x minus 60, x plus 60 equals zero. Technically, we have the two x value, x equals 60 and x equals negative 60 as the two critical numbers. We call the x or the range of the x has to be between zero and 90. Put the notes over here, x must be between zero and 90. So then, we ignore the x negative 16, which is doesn't make sense because x cannot be negative. X is the production or the number of the products. So the first critical value we, we have it. And the next one, the C bar prime is undefined. This case, we consider the denominator to be zero, which is x squared equals zero. So I put, I put a note here, this is the numerator. And this is a denominator. And x squared equals zero. We solve for x, we get x equals zero. So we have another critical values. At this point, we get um, the two critical numbers because zero is still on the interval 0, 90. Summarize over here, the critical values will be x equals 60 and x equals zero, or you can use the notation C if you like. And then the next step, we're gonna find the function value at the point A, at the point B, which are the left end and right end, and at the critical value, the two values that we found, the first point is um, C1 is 60, and then the next critical value, I use this as a C1, and this is as a C2, C2 is zero. And this one, these two numbers are critical values. So the function at zero, which means we're gonna look at the average cost function at zero, average cost function at 90, the average cost function at 60, the average cost function at zero. The average cost function that we use based on the cost function divided by x or 10,080 plus 42x plus 0.3x squared. So put the notes here, since the c bar x equals 1080 plus 42x plus the 0.3x squared, all divided by x. So then uh, to compute this, we're gonna have um, the 1080, plus 42 times zero plus 0 0.3 times zero squared or divided by zero. When you divide by zero, it's undefined. So you just ignore this one. So the left end, we are not consider that. So this case is gone. So the next case, when the, uh, look at the end point, the other end point, which is 90, uh, one zero is zero plus 42 times 90 plus 0 0.3 times 90 squared all divided by 90. And um, put in the calculator, we should get the number as, so we're gonna get the number as 81 for the average cost function at 90. And compute the same way at 60. we get the number 78. And again, the C bar is zero is not considered because at the point zero, the average cost function doesn't occur. Now we have two numbers. The 
the next step, we can compare the largest and the lowest. The largest value of the C bar X is, or the average cost function is 81, which is the C bar X at 90 or the right end. And the smallest value of C bar X is the value 78, which is a C bar at 60. Our case is to find the X that give the minimum value of the average cost function. We target on the lowest number, which is the absolute minimum value. And the answer for this problem is X equals 60.